What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make peach cobbler this southern style biscuit peach cobbler from scratch That's right. If you didn't know I'm a pastry chef and I'm going to show you how to get it in with this delicious dessert Stay tuned Before we get into it go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel I'm trying to hit 5k and I need your help. Also, follow me on Instagram. There I post healthy intentional living tips and more about my businesses. Now, back to the video. All right guys, of course we're gonna start out with peaches and I actually only had four fresh peaches. So you'll see in a second I have a jar of peaches but I also have all my seasonings, sugar, brown sugar, a little bit of baking soda, baking powder, and some flour. Oh yeah, very simple ingredients but of course a delicious dessert. So we're gonna start by peeling those peaches of course. Like I said, I only had four of them. I was on vacation at the, at the time and I was not trying to go out to the store, okay? So I just peeled my four peaches and then I cut them in half, took out the pit, and then cut them in like basically quarters. Some of them were in sixes, but um, anyway, and then I put them in my pan. So in my bowl here, I have sugar, brown sugar, and some spices, which are just cinnamon and some nutmeg and um, so a little bit of ginger just a little bit so there I'm just measuring out a couple of tablespoons of flour the whole recipe will be down linked below in the description box but I just mix that together put a little lemon juice on my peaches just to bring out the flavor and then I'm gonna mix the sugar mixture on to the peaches now I only mix this with the fresh peaches just because the ones in the jar are already kind of broken down a little bit so um, but the fresh ones aren't they're you know they're fresh so they're a little bit harder so those ones I'm actually gonna bake off first so I put them in my uh, little casserole pan and um, I bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and uh, this in the oven was at 375 so I just baked them to get them a little soft so they could be ready for the topping all right so now on to the topping this is like a biscuit topping so I'm just starting off with flour and a little bit of baking powder salt and then I'm also going to add some sugar to this as well and it's going to be brown sugar and white sugar and I'm going to mix that up and then I'm just going to take my butter and I'm going to cut it into my flour so this this is what I mean by it's kind of like a biscuit recipe um, you're gonna take your cold butter and you're gonna cut it into your flour you're looking for like pea size basically you know just think about your grandma with getting her hands in there rubbing the flour and the butter together to make little pea size bits um, and this was what makes the crust like a biscuit right this is the texture how we get the texture by mixing the flour and the butter and getting those little Bits. and then um, the next step is we're gonna add the moisture to it but this step is super important don't miss it make sure you have cold butter all that so there I just added a little bit of cold milk I actually added lemon to my milk to make it kind of like a buttermilk consistency um, but that little bit of tang is a flavor game changer okay I'm just gonna mix it up until it's biscuit consistency as you can see it's kind of thick here so I'm just gonna add a little bit more milk until it gets to the consistency that I want I want it to be moist enough so all the flour is is has uh, some moisture to it but um, not too loose right because I just want it to be a biscuit and then just got my hands in there made it a complete biscuit dough so these are the peaches right out of the oven and I just added the canned peaches right on top like I said you can see the difference of how kind of broken down they are so I don't want to like over bake them and make them complete mush right I just want them to be the right consistency for this peach cobbler have a nice little bite to them and all that so then I just take this dough and I'm literally just going to spoon it on top and you can see the butter in there come on now it's just gonna melt and like separate the flour 
flour and then the baking soda is going to react it's going to puff up it's going to be nice and buttery and flaky oh yeah this is what you want so i just spread it out the best that i can to cover the top and then i'm going to throw it back in the oven it's going to go back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes um i think i did about like 22 minutes because i wanted it nice and crispy on top nice and golden brown and uh that's it take it out the oven you see it little it spilled just a little bit <laughs> if you can see the bottom of the oven there but that's okay that's why you put some loom foil down there right <laughs> to take care of that spillage but this is the result this is my southern peach cobbler with a biscuit top so buttery so flaky those peaches perfectly seasoned if you don't have all fresh peaches you definitely can just mix some fresh ones with some canned ones and get the perfect consistency i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to check out more of my videos i'll link them on the screen and as well as you can go ahead and click my little face there to subscribe to my channel but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next one bye